high signal here. A little bit weird. I'll dig it up though. Not not a consistent target. It could be a piece of iron. Either that or multiple targets in the hole. I'm not sure which. It's just acting a little funky. Not locking on. Well, I don't know, maybe it's a half dollar. Uh, nope. I think it was a little bit funky. It's, uh, I don't think that's hollow. It might be. If it is, it's probably a big old silver ring, possibly. Yeah, it might be what that is. I think that's a ring. I think it's a silver ring. All right. Target here. It's occasionally flat, flashing up 90s. There's one 92, 93. Yeah, 93. Could be a really deep quarter or something. down there it's in the 50s now though yeah, looking like a penny yeah, I don't know maybe a washer or something no I think it's a coin probably a penny Possibly like a panty or something. usually end up being bullets. No, oh, no, it's a coin. And probably a penny. Oh no, it's one of those swim buckles. That's what it is. Yeah, swim buckle. Off the rubber hat. Based on those numbers, probably end up being a penny, possibly a bullet. There's the gray sand right there. I could probably pull it out with the pinpointer and then that way yeah, you can see actually how deep these things are. So pinpointers probably at the 11, 12 inch mark right now. And I'm still not able to get the target. So we know it's past the 11 inch mark. I would think that that would have it. Yeah, now 
that's coming up 40 46 to 50 right there oh i think it's a ring but it's not not gold it might not even be a ring let me go over and wash that off could have been plated at one time might be just some sort of washer or something too yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't think that's a ring, but it is ring shaped. Probably some piece of brass. I'll have to chip the crud off when I get home and find out. It's fairly deep. I was getting uh, anywhere from 13 to 95. It was bouncing all over the place. So it'll be interesting to see what this is. Okay, we're down to the gray now. Sounds like it's still in the hole. Okay, that's yeah, that's fairly deep. Not frozen, which is nice. Yeah. In there? 95.96. That's a half dollar. Or a big silver ring. Oh, there we are, coin, silver dollar. Silver dollar, awesome. Wow. That's a chunker. Yep, that's cool. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Probably end up being a nickel. I think it's still in there. I can see the gray sand down there, so let me just get the pin pointer out and see if we can get it out this way. Right there, probably about 11, 12 inches deep. I'm just going to take it out with the shovel though. Oops, probably fell back in the hole. It's in that. That's a one of those uh, swim buckle or rubber hat rubber hats. That could be a quarter. Deep one if it is. So yeah, I'm thinking that's what it is. Edge of detection quarter. But we will see. It could be a dime. to get 
pinpointer out before I recover it, and uh, it might be out now. It is, it was shallower than I thought, though. Yeah, it's out, so I think it's gonna end up being a dime, not a quarter. Just up averaging. That's a dime back right there. You're not far from that last one. Might end up being another dime. Similar numbers to the last one. right there or not Probably be another dome. Yeah, right there. Another dime. Have to crack it open, see what it is, and get home. Take the headphones off for this one because it's really weird, and I think it's probably iron. Well, maybe not. Just not a real solid target. It could be deep. It could be iron. But it is coming up in the 30s. And if it's good, it should be out about now. Well, still in there. Yep, iron. Straight up iron at that point. Okay, got one last target here. I think I'm gonna dig or get out of here. Thirties, forties could be a bullet. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Probably a penny. Well, it's probably a nickel, actually. Yeah, I think that's a nickel. All right, so here's the finds of the Manicore. This is over a course of, oh, probably three days, um, seven hours of hunting, approximately, uh, just due to the weather. can really stay as long as I'd like to every day, but um, number of bullets up here, Not, I didn't even picture all of them. I probably dug five or, five or six more than that, even and you got to dig them though i mean rings could come in the same same area for your uh that bullets come in so got a couple of buckles a key um i thought that might be a ring but it's not it just ended up being a copper um i don't know ring of some sort but not a finger ring a couple of utah state tax tokens four wheat pennies um got one nickel Let's see, there's a couple of Mercs and a Roosevelt dime. 
Uh, the big silver ring that's got, looks like an S on it. Um, the clump, when I got home, ended up being a watch, a woman's watch. Probably gold plated, possibly, with uh, sterling or a stainless back. And then, of course, the ring. And the ring is a 14K. You can see where I nailed it with her shovel there, which is too bad, but it was deep and it was down on that hard pan and I just slammed into it. But anyway, nice couple of hunts with the Manticore. Really happy with it. And so that will wrap up uh, the finds.